Well, one of the weapons on the front line of the battle against coronavirus is, believe it or not, hand washing. Sounds simple, doesn't it? But there is very much a right way and a wrong way to wash your hands. And there's also such a thing as too much hand washing. Checkpoint filmed a couple of RNZ staffers cleaning their mitts and brought in Dr Susie Wiles, microbiologist and associate professor in the medical department at the University of Auckland, to see if their technique stands up to scrutiny. And spoiler alert, you are supposed to wash your hands at least as long as it takes to sing happy birthday through twice. So these are the people we got to wash their hands. We didn't tell them why we wanted them to wash their hands. So hopefully they've done it as per they would normally if we weren't spying on them. So <laughs> let's see our first customer here. Okay. It's a good start. Happy birthday Using the soap. To you. Happy birthday to you. Mm. Happy not birthday, bad. dear you. Technique, you mean? Not okay, bad? Happy birthday yeah. to okay. you. Yeah. Okay, so she's put the soap on her hands yep. and has... And she's rubbled it around yeah. and she's gone into the... in between the fingers. She even did the backs of fingers, which is often some more thing we miss. I'm not sure whether she got the wrists as well. That was pretty good. Um, how long was that, though? That was a total of nine seconds okay. of washing. <laughs> A little short, you'll be wanting more 20 to 30 seconds. So. so our first person here has washed their hands, well, 50% less than they should have in terms of duration, yes. Yes. roughly but has speaking. But done, has done good, good technique. I'd like to see a little bit more lava, but that might depend on the kind of soap. We're using, well. and yeah. she's using a paper towel to dry off her hands. Yep, that's um, good, that was great. Uh, so drying is is one of the most important steps because we know that wet hands pick up um, bacteria and viruses much more easily than, than dry hands. So, right, okay. So if you wash your hands really, really well and then you don't dry them, <laughs> well, you might as well not have washed them. <laughs> okay, let's see um, customer two, we'll call her. Okay, so here's our next person. Okay. Happy Soaps up her hands. To you. Happy birthday to you. Oh, Happy she's birthday, oh, dear it's you. Not bad. Happy she's birthday gone in between her fingers. She's gone in between her fingers. Happy Could do it a little bit longer, and she's gone you. in the backs of her hands. Did she see the wrists as well, though? I didn't see the wrists. No, so I don't think she everybody's did. Everybody's missing the wrists. I don't think she did um, her wrists either. That's good, though. Is she actually trying? Looks. Not bad. Again, looks probably a little bit short. How long was that one? You're right, it is short. So 14 seconds. So better than customer one, who, <laughs> who did only nine seconds. So 14 seconds. And let's see if we go back. Yeah, no, she doesn't do her wrists as well. No. But it's, it's, it's pretty good, <laughs> actually. I think I'm, I'm quite impressed. Everybody's remembering the between the fingers and, and underneath the fingers and the nails and things. Um, it's just that wrist. And I guess another bit would be just to make sure that you've got the sides of your hands and stuff as well. That can often get a little bit... Um, if you don't really go properly through, you can end up missing those bits as well. But not, not bad. And I'm really pleased to see everybody drying their hands because yes. that's so important. Mm. Okay, well let's go and you can show me exactly <laughs> what I'm supposed to do when I wash my All hands. Right. Okay. Right, so welcome to the Radio New Zealand ladies <laughs> bathroom. Thank you. Um, so, shall I turn the tap on before I st soap up? Or I it... normally soap up first. Okay. And, and I'd say a couple of, of things. Good squirts. And then with these taps they're quite good so you don't even have to use your hands, you can use your elbow. Would you not use your hands? It uh, depends on the bathroom. I mean, this yeah. is one good thing. Okay, so you want a really nice lot of, in fact, you can even turn the tap off again and save some water. Yes. So, we Wait. want lots and lots of lather. You want to be going down your wrist. You're going up above your wrist yep. bones, aren't yep. you? And then down Why are we sides. doing that? Why are we doing that? Susie? Why are we going up that far? Just because... Oh, I actually don't know why we go up that far. Yeah. <laughs> but, okay. <laughs> um... Yeah, I don't actually know why they go up that far. But anyway, that's that's what we do. That's uh, advice, right? Yep. So um, thumbs. And you're rotating yep. your yep. hands around your fingers, so yep. that you're getting all sides of your. And you fingers. want to take them and go like that. So we've got our hands in a sort of claw position, yep. and we're. Again, you're getting underneath your fingernails and mm. to the tips of your fingers. Well, I've been go. failing miserably if this is what I'm supposed <laughs> to do every time. And then between your fingers like that and along the sides. Yep. So that's a pretty good 
You've got more lava than me. Yeah, but okay. <laughs> and then you can go on again. Yeah. And now you really want to get all of that down the sink. Yeah. Washing it, we're rinsing everything yep. off up to above our wrists. Yep. Yeah. And then again, you can. We're not touching the tap, we're using our elbow to touch not the Not essential, tap. but um, it's a pretty yeah. good one. And then you want to try. Okay, we'll get a couple of paper towels. Yeah, and you really, really here. want them dry. You don't want them. Now, can you explain wet. why? It's because, so important that yeah, so, we dry properly. So wet hands pick up germs on surfaces more easily than dry hands do. Yeah. And the whole point is we've just washed our hands and got rid of all our germs. And the last thing we want to do is now coat our hands with some new ones as we leave. And it's especially important if others haven't washed their hands or haven't washed their hands properly. So because the then of course they're going to be opening the door. So what we want to do is now make sure we don't... So the water is basically a conductor for... Yeah, it just can helps lift everything up. Yes, exactly. And what do we think is... What's dry? Do you know what I mean? So oh, I mean... Dry. Yeah, bone dry. <laughs> yeah, okay. Dry. You don't yes. want to be, you know... Yeah. You don't want any sort of, to be able to feel any kind of dampness yeah. if you were and to put And that's one of the reasons together. why I really hate terrible hand dryers. We've got <laughs> like this one here. Yeah. Okay, so this because one. They Simon, don't. step back and we'll go with <laughs> This is the kind of dry we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, they just, they don't dry your hands or you have to stand under them for about three or four minutes. Right. And most people don't. They'll just go, yeah, I'm done and they'll head off. So. In this kind of instance, given the option between that kind of hand dryer and the paper towels, use the paper towels. Okay. Definitely. Because it's more certain hands. that I've actually dried yeah. my hands properly. Absolutely. There'll be too much residual moisture still yes. left. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Here's the question. The old wash, wash, wash my hands. <laughs> and then I know a lot of people do this and I've been known to do it. Wipe your hands down the side of your pants. So, da, da, da. again... If there isn't any paper towel around, yeah. that's better than not drying them. This is certainly something that my daughter does all yeah. the time. I do it if there are no paper towels around. So, so it's not the best option, but it's better than not drying enough. your hands at yeah. all. Okay, so if, we, if you had to list kind of like the three most important things that we should be doing, is it what? Lather up. Lather up. Get into all the nooks and crannies and everything. Make sure you get the sides and everything. Uh, and length of time. So actually the, the recommendation is you sing happy birthday twice. That gives you about 20 seconds. If you can do it another time through, that's 30 seconds. That's excellent. We have had a run on people purchasing hand sanitizer and com commercial products to wash your hands with. So if you don't want to buy those things or they're not available to you, is there anything else I can use? Oh, actually, that's a great question. Um, so I'm not even sure actually whether the kinds of hand sanitizer people have been buying have been the best ones. So what you want is an alcohol-based one. Um, and actually, so somebody asked me today about that. Could we just be using essential oils and things? And, and actually, the answer is probably not, because what you want is an, an alcohol-based um, sanitizer. And why do I you would, want alcohol? Well, because that's something that's really, really good at disrupting the, the viruses and the bacteria and things. The, um, Let's hope it doesn't come to it, Susie, but if there was an emergency, <laughs> could you crack open a bottle, a bottle of spirits of and wash your hands well, with Well, the best thing is to use soap and water. It doesn't even need to be antibacterial soap. In fact, that, that doesn't work any better than normal soap does. Because what, the, what you're doing when you wash your hands is you're actually physically removing things. And one of the issues with using hand sanitizer is that you just surface sterilize, so you don't actually get any of the dirt and grime out from underneath your fingers and various things. So often that ends up giving giving people a bit of a false sense of security, really your best, find yourself tap and water, um, you know, some soap, wash them properly and that's really better than spending all day just popping hand sanitizer on. One of the really important things about um, how many times a day you wash your hands is that you don't do it too much. Really? Because if you start overwashing, you can start drying out and damaging your hands and then that causes cracks and things which is basically entries into your body. So that can end up being worse for your health, not necessarily to do with this virus, but for other things than actually, you know... So um, like the flu, for example, if you were to overwash, you're basically opening up your protective layer. Yeah, which is probably not, it probably doesn't mean much for flu and things, but might end up causing a sort of a bacterial infection or something like that. So you can you can end up with sort of sores and things. So not too many times. Don't, don't, don't go, yeah, don't go, don't overdo it.
And that's Susie Wiles there, Dr Susie Wiles, microbiologist and associate professor at the University of Auckland. A lot of people getting in touch on the hand washing thing. This person says if you recite happy birthday twice while we wash our hands and leave the tap running, there'll be zero water left. Is it wet hands, then tap off, wash while reciting, then tap on and rinse? Yes. As Susie said, turn the tap off while you're washing your hands to save the water.